Manuka honey is a well-known medicinal honey from New Zealand, which is derived from the manuka tree, also known by the botanical name Leptospermium scoparium. Well, Australia also has species capable of producing honey with similar, or in fact, even better, antibacterial properties. Australia is home to an impressive 84 species, of Leptospermium, or tea tree, out of only 87 of them, found worldwide. One such plant is the jelly bush or tantoon with the botanical name Leptospermium polygolifolium, which is naturally occurring in New South Wales and Queensland. Because of a copyright dispute over the term manuka, in this video, we will call the Australian version, Leptospermium honey. Right now, as the world suffers the sudden drastic upheaval, and looming dangers, of the coronavirus pandemic, the potential for this delicious product of nature to have an impact on human health, is highly significant. Scientists are yet to find a bacteria that is resistant to Leptospermium honey, and the fact that it is naturally derived, means that it is safe, and accessible for people to use. Australia's Leptospermium honey has all of the delicious properties of traditional honey, but is further blessed, with powerful medicinal properties, that have currently become dramatically important. There's nothing new in claims about the healing powers of honey. The ancient Egyptians used it, and before antibiotics, particularly in World War I, it was widely used. But now there's some serious science backing the benefits. At Brisbane's Princess Alexandra Hospital, they've done two separate studies on kidney patients, confirming that medical grade manuka honey prevents infection as well or better than antibiotics. The growing threat of drug resistant superbugs has put a fresh focus on manuka honey. While drugs can be very useful at times, honey is a really good topical agent that bacteria don't become resistant to. So over millions of years of bees making honey, it's the only food that actually can't be spoiled. So nature has provided this solution for us that we stopped using because of antibiotics. Now that antibiotics are losing their power, we need to look at other solutions. And I think honey is a, is a fantastic one. The prickly tea tree, or Leptospermium juniperinum, and particularly the Leptospermium speciosum tea tree shrub, have high readings of the important omega-3 fatty acid, known as DHA, in their nectar, when sampled, meaning they also have a high concentration of the favorable compound methylglyoxal, when the honey is produced. At certain concentrations methylglyoxal, or MGO, can restrict bacterial growth, and help reduce inflammation. The presence of the MGO in the Leptospermium honey, also means that it has an incredibly long shelf life, without the requirement for preservatives. The powerful medicinal properties of these special honeys also include a low pH, which can inhibit microbial growth, and natural occurring hydrogen peroxide, which is a known disinfectant, as well as a high osmotic pressure, meaning it draws excess moisture out of wounds and bacteria. When bees make honey, they throw in an enzyme called glucose oxidase. And bacteria hate glucose oxidase because it produces two different compounds. It converts glucose to gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. Gluconic acid is you guessed it, an acid. It gives honey a pH value of less than 4. That's about a thousand times more acidic than the neutral pH of 7 that most bacteria need to grow. And hydrogen peroxide is very good at killing cells. It destroys the cell walls of bacteria, which breaks them apart. Water can travel across cell membranes from where there's a higher concentration of water to where there's a lower concentration. And there's a higher concentration of water in a bacterium than in honey. Which means that honey will suck the juices right out of any bacterium or mold or fungus that tries to set up shop. Plus, there isn't enough water in honey for any microorganisms to live on, so they die and the honey doesn't spoil. There is increasing research that shows that Leptospermium honey provides benefits, when taken internally, for combating breathing or digestive infections. In 2011, researchers from Wales demonstrated how Leptospermium honey can stop bacteria from attaching to tissue at the molecular level. The researchers said that honey has been shown to exhibit broad-spectrum antimicrobial activity, being able to act upon more than 80 species of pathogen. So, can Leptospermium honey stop me getting the coronavirus? Well, it definitely seems to be able to boost your immune system to minimize the risk of you getting a virus, and reduce viral activity, as well as helping you recover quicker if you do get infected. It's been trusted for centuries by healers all over the world. At a time when we receive a lot of mixed messaging, perhaps now is the time to trust in natural ingredients, that have stood the test of time. Use high MGO Leptospermium honey as part of your COVID-19 protection plans. So today I want to talk about an idea, this mask as a protection. I started using normal dust marks I have in my workshop, but they're not sealing well and with a beard 
we have a problem. And then we develop this mask and it fits much better. But still, it is a passive mask, passive mask to keep your water drops back uh, and, and keep the bacteria in here. But the virus is much smaller, 50 to 1000 times smaller than bacteria and uh, this won't hold back. So uh, I'm disinfected, so when I have my hands in my face, uh, I get probably bacteria. But when I wash myself hygienic, uh, it's not that bad. But if I have a mask, then I don't touch my face. One thing. But power makes this mask active. It's a passive mask, that's like this. But active, we have this yellow bush honey with an MGO um, from 1850. Uh, that is medical honey which uh, killed bacteria. And, and so on. So, and then I got my idea. My idea is they have this honey. I got this is my jar. I try it down. I like to put my finger in and get it in my mouth and just disinfect. But when you breathe through your nose, you can't do this. It's not hygienic. So, what we do, we use toilet paper. Toilet paper. Get two leaves, get your honey, put it on, you make a honey toilet paper sandwich and fold it and put it in your mask in the, in the pouch. And over. The first positive thing is smells nice. Honey smell. But also you're breathing in and out and you pass the honey on I hope that kills uh, bacteria and viruses. And so it doesn't matter, I got a cushion of air in front of my nose and my mouth and the stone has to be see it to my beard, this is good enough. So, I hope this is an active way, helpful. Uh, this mask is not a throw away mask, it's uh, washable, elastic, sizes small, medium and large. You can personalize the mask with your name on it, so it's for you and for no one else. So, that's an idea I like to promote and uh, see how this works, what say the expert. Huh? It's good. I think it's good. <laughs>